scratch out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry. And get this. He said he was afraid of fire. Oh, man. He was afraid of fire? I just told you he was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me. It's irritating. As soon as he told me that, I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? What did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off waiting for the kid to wake up. After five minutes, we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up, so we all started throwing rocks at him. After a couple of hits, the kid's awake. At this point, the flames were huge. <laughs> Imagine what it must have been like for him. Waking up, not knowing where he was, and all he sees is fire. The kid tries to stand up, but can't get his footing on the soggy mattress. At this point, I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. Bet he overcame his fear of fire. Uh huh? Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway. That. Didn't see that coming.